All right, guys, we got some breaking news here. North Korea is on maximum alert, quote unquote, because of the threats of the U.S. that that were they're making. They said toward North Korea. Now, this is another story that's breaking in conjunction with that statement by North Korea that we're being a gangster-like country. We're threatening them. The U.S. and South Korea agree to activate missile system early to find Russia and China. Now, this is the THAAD missile system. It's a defense system that can shoot missiles out of the sky. And from what I understand, it can also be used as an offensive weapon as well. And Russia and China do not like this weapon being deployed on their doorstep. The article goes on to say that since the United States started the deployment of the controversial anti-missile defense system, the Thermal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, uh, to South Korea, both China and Russia have expressed strong opposition. China and Russia are not only regional powers in the East, but also major world players. South Korea allowing the United States to deploy a volatile weapon like THAAD at their doorsteps is the equivalent to a national security threat to their countries, to Russia and China's countries. There is no doubt that if the deployment of that occurred in Mexico by Russia or China, the United States would construe it as military aggression. The United States claims it is alarmed by North Korea's increasingly provocative behavior on the Korean Peninsula over its nuclear missile program, hence the deployment of the weapon to protect South Korean and U.S. interests. THAAD is an advanced anti-ballistic missile system designed to shoot down short, medium, and intermediate ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. The latest is that despite the disagreement over the deployment of the weapon by China and Russia, South Korea and the United States have agreed to speed up the deployment, installation, and early activation of the weapon. According to South Korea's Yonhap News Agency, the decision to activate the THAAD system early came during talks between the acting South Korean president and the United States Vice President Mike Pence. Currently, Pence is visiting South Korea for talks amid rising tensions on the Korean Peninsula. On Sunday, April 16th, North Korea repeatedly carried out a missile test, but the weapon exploded shortly after it was fired. President Donald Trump said, he is ready to confront North Korea with force over its nuclear program. North Korea has responded with defiance. On Friday, April 14th, the country held a military parade at the city, capital city, Pyongyang, displaying its military hardware. Both China and Russia have urged for restraint between the United States and North Korea. And there's the South Korean president there with Mike, President Vice President Mike Pence. So, basically, it says uh, that they have agreed to further strengthen readiness posture of uh, both South Korea and United States alliance that matches the threats posed by North Korea through a swift deployment of THAAD. Uh, this, this was said on Monday, which would have been today. Yes, today. Pence also warned North Korea that the era of strategic patience is over, repeating the phrase of his boss. President Trump, that all options are available and on the table. The soon-to-be-activated THAAD system is said to have a range of 200 kilometers and is capable of destroying incoming warheads by intercepting them mid-flight. The system has previously been installed by the United States in Guam and Hawaii. Despite Trump's public rant about using military force against North Korea, he has been secretly counting on China to persuade Pyongyang to back down on his nuclear program. Recently, when Chinese President uh, visited Trump at Mar-a-Lago in Florida, it is said uh, North Korea was, on, was, was high on the agenda. The President of China promised to help avert any potential military conflict on the Korean Peninsula. However, the latest announcement of the activation of THAAD would likely anger the Chinese, making it highly probable their withdrawal from any negotiations with Pyongyang, making room for the United States to deal with its North Korean troubles. Immediately after President Huang announced the activation of THAAD, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson, Zheng 
Zhang quickly replied via news conference that China was fully or firmly opposed to the deployment and would resolutely take measures to defend our own security interests. China believes that is a threat to its claims in the South China Sea, which it views as its territorial possession. Since the deployment of THAAD to South Korea, China has been tough on Seoul. China launched economic pressures against Seoul Korea earlier this year, aiming to deter them from installing the weapon. The world's most populous country called on its citizens to boycott all things from South Korea. China canceled a multi-billion dollar real estate project with the South Korean multinational retail conglomerate, Lloyd because the company had given up its land for the installation of THAAD. South Korean pop stars who were due to perform in China in April were denied visas. China has also removed South Korean television dramas and broadcasts and has ordered all online travel agencies to stop selling South Korean-related tour packages. This is taking a heavy toll on South Korean companies doing business in China, China was planning further economic pressure before this announcement that THAAD would be activated soon. Initial estimates suggest the Chinese economic pressure could cost the South Korean economy over $261 billion this year alone. Now that South Korea is going to activate THAAD earlier than anticipated, expect nothing more than further Chinese economic sanctions against the country in the days ahead. Wow, that's pretty, pretty ominous. The only word that comes to my mind is ominous. And uh, then we go over here to this article here. North Korea is on maximum alert after U.S. threats. And this is an Al Jazeera article, I believe. It says North Korea has warned its army is on maximum alert after the U.S. vice president visited the heavily militarized border between the two Koreas and reiterated Washington's position that all options are on the table in dealing with Pyongyang. Sin Hong Kol, North Korea's deputy foreign minister, told Al Jazeera in an exclusive interview on Monday that Donald Trump's administration should look at the world with open eyes. The time of dictating orders by brandishing the U.S. military might has gone. If those businessmen in power in the U.S. thought of intimidating us by any military or sanctioned threats, Uh, As Barack Obama's administration used to do and failed, they soon will find out such threats are useless, Sin said. If we notice any sign of assault on our sovereignty, our army will launch merciless military strikes against the U.S. aggressors. Wherever they may exist, from the remote U.S. lands to the American military bases on Korean Peninsula, such as those of Japan and elsewhere, Sin said those Uh, Sin also said the six-nation talks aiming to make the North Korean peninsula free of nuclear weapons were throttled at birth. The nuclear weapon in our possession is not illusion. It is not a commodity that may be traded for American dollars, nor is it for sale. So it cannot be put on negotiating table with the aim to rip it off, he said. Tensions between Pyongyang and Washington have soared in recent weeks as a series of North Korean missile tests have wrought even more bellicose warnings from Donald Trump's administration. On Monday, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, visiting the world's most heavily militarized border that divides the two Koreas, hinted military options against the North have not been ruled out. The people of North Korea, the military of North Korea, should not mistake the resolve of the United States of America to stand with our allies, Penn said, adding, the era of strategic patience is over. Sounds like uh, war talk to me. But anyway, this is just a little short uh, update on what's happening here currently as the news breaks. God bless and uh, keep looking up.